a minute. Wait, this starts recording. Hi guys, my name's Ken and I'm from Bradley's Driving School and today I'm doing a mock test with Lydia. She's uh, just met her for the first time. We're doing a mock test in her car. She's got a driving test book, I believe. When's the book for? Tomorrow, nine o'clock, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> right, and you've been having lessons with a driving instructor and you've also had private practice with your dad. So, how many hours have you had with a driving instructor? Oh, probably about 14, I'd say. 14 hours, and how many hours have you had with your dad? Oh, a lot. A um, lot? Yeah, basically an hour nearly every day. For how long? Since, I'd say August, maybe. Right, okay. Right, Um. have you seen the DL25 before? The driving test report form? This section is filled in at the test centre. He'll ask you to read that declaration. It's uh -huh. just to say that you've been in the country for the last 185 days in the past year and the car's legal. So make sure you, your signature is exactly what's on your driver's licence. Right. In this column is the minor faults. You're allowed 15 minor faults and you still pass. S is for serious. You're allowed no serious faults. Right. D is for what's worse than serious. Start with D. Dangerous. Dangerous, exactly. Now, passes recorded there, fail there. None means the test never took place for one reason or another. Total number false recorded there. Root number there. ET mean, ET means examiner took action. V means verbally shout at you or slow down or stop. P means physically he's gone for the steering wheel or the handbrake. I kind of go for the jewels because we haven't got any. And then you get a debrief at the end. Have you any questions about that? Okay. Right, would you like me to tell you a little bit about the driving test? Yes. <laughs> You're going to be out for 35 to 40 minutes depending on traffic. You're going to take in various traffic and road conditions. You're going to do one manoeuvre you practice with your trainer, possibly the control stop, and you will be driving independently by way of sat-nav or signs for approximately 20 minutes. Today we're going to follow sat-nav. Do you understand that? Yeah. Now we have one show me question and one tell me question. The tell me question I'll ask now, could you tell me how you check your powered students work before starting a journey? No. No idea? No. So just so you know when you start your car, just see when I start the car it comes light and responsive. Right. Okay. Um, the next question I'll ask on the move. Now, throughout the driver, I'd like you to follow the road ahead at all times, unless you're directed by signs or markings, or I'll ask you to turn, which I will do some good time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Thank you. If you just drive on when you're ready, turn left out of here, and then we'll follow the sat now. <laughs> At the end of the road, you're turning left. You will arrive at your destination at 2.18 p.m. And just follow the sat nav here. At the end of the road, turn right. Turn right, St. John's Road. Oh dear, Lydia commits her first serious fault. Not only does she park on double yellow lines, she also plonks the car on the verge. This would be classed as a serious fault, box number 25 on the driving test report form. Ouch. Can you pull up the convenient place on the left please? Thank you, and then you drive when you feel ready. Lydia forgets to check her blind spot when moving off. This will be a minor fault on the driving test in box number 13, moving off safely. Road, turn right, A690.
Diddy does really well at the next junction. Most lungs will be sweating buckets waiting this long at the junction. Lydia stays calm and takes the next available gap. Well done, Lydia. to the next immediate left. And then take the next road to the right. Could you drive the car forward? It would be of your choice. This can be on the left or right hand side of the road. Lydia drives into the parking bay but hits the curb. This is a minor fault and it will go down in box number 12, use of foot brake. If Lydia had hit the curb any harder, it would have been a serious fault. Reverse it back out to the left and just go the way we came. of the road turn left really close to the next parked car but leave enough room to move off about the car then really close. that'll do there thank you and then drive on when you feel ready Lydia misses her blind spot for the second time. This would be another minor error.
guards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A690, Nettles Cross Bank. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Lydia records two minor errors at these traffic lights. Both could have been serious faults. She does not go far enough into the middle. Had there been a car behind, she could have recorded a serious fault. The next minor fault is for undue hesitation. The backup light changes to red and Lydia takes a while to exit the junction. She just got out in time as the traffic was starting to emerge from her left and right. straight ahead at the traffic light she approaches in the left lane well done for some strange reason learners like to pick the right lane when you have the choice of lanes to go straight ahead you normally keep left Silly sat nav shows right on the screen when it should be straight ahead at the next roundabout. Lydia sees the sign to the left showing second exit straight ahead. She proceeds in the left lane. Nice one Lydia. Most of my pupils would pick the right lane. Take the first. 
first exit, A167. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. roundabout sign shows you do not give way at this roundabout. Pupils often fail here for giving way when they are not supposed to. Lydia does slow down slightly but no fault recorded. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Slight hesitation at this roundabout, but no fault recorded. records a minor fault on this roundabout because she leaves it very late to go over to the right lane. The rest of the roundabout she does really go well. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A688. This particular roundabout, for some reason, learners like to give way to the left and fail the driving tests when there's nobody to the right. Don't know why they do this, but they just like to do it. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Green Lane. Then you have reached your destination. yards you have reached your destination that's the end of the independent drive i'll now bring them back give them you have reached your destination 17 green lane <clears throat> if you'd like to pull up in a convenient place on the left please lydia is asked to pull up on the left but then decides to turn left lydia has done everything safely so there are no faults recorded Pull up on the left, not turn left. So don't worry if you just go left around here for me. It's okay, just follow around to the left. So I think we might get back out up here, so we just go at the end and go around the left again. So we might get out.
When emerging left at this junction, Lydia does not look properly. This is recorded as a minor fold, box number 21, observations at junctions. And left again. Can you pull up on the left hand side of the road? Yeah. Thank you. And then you drive on when you feel ready. Lydia forgets to check her blind spot for the third time. This now becomes an habitual fault which in turn becomes a serious fault. Box number 13, moving off safely. At the roundabout, follow the road ahead. It's the second exit. Lydia's position on approach and throughout the roundabout is very good. Most learners will straight line this type of roundabout, which normally results in a serious fault. Lydia is looking well ahead and does really well with the road common measure. Well done. Lydia is looking well ahead and sees the mini roundabout in good time. Learned drivers sometimes miss these all together. Lydia's done really well here. Lydia's timing of the signal is really good. There is a side road to the left before the junction. Most learners will apply the signal before the side road. This could result in a serious fault if another vehicle acts on the signal.
Lydia really likes these pavements. This is the second pavement she has mounted. She has already recorded a serious fall, so it will not be marked again. I blame her dad because he just parks a car anywhere. Thank you. Then drive on when you feel ready. Lydia's mirror work is cool. When moving back to the left after the bus lane, she is looking in the dormer to see if anybody is filtering up the left hand side. Most learners would miss the mirrors here and they would record a serious fall for this. If you like this type of content please check your mirrors and if safe to do so click the subscribe button mainly because I don't have any subscribers yet. I will be uploading videos on a weekly basis. Thank you for watching. In my humble opinion Lydia has a really good chance of passing her driving test first time. The skills she needs to improve on are, are as follows. Decision making at roundabouts. She needs to practice more roundabouts and deciding when and when not to go. And pulling up on the left hand side of the road in a safe, convenient and legal place. This will get rid of the blind spot check around. Other than that, there is nothing to write home about. It's pretty good stuff. Just like to drive it forward into one of those bays on the left hand side for me. Just drive it there. You're probably going there to finish the level. Just drive it in.
right, thank you. Now, if you just like to turn your car off, but don't turn it off fully, just one click. See if the camera stops on. Yeah, looks like it's stopping on. Just leave it, that's good. Right, oh, it's warm in here. How, do you th how did that feel? Right, how did that feel to you then? A bit nerve wracking. Yeah, it is. It's not very nice, is it? Now, how do you think you've done? Uh, pretty sure I've failed. What do you think you feel for? Uh, the first traffic lights. What happened at the first set of traffic lights? I just had no idea where to go. Right, okay. Um, that's the end of it, and you've got 12 minor faults, and you have two serious faults. Now, I'll go through the minors first of all, and then I'll explain the series faults, see if I can remember them all. So, foot brake. You, you know when you're doing your drive into the beer? Can you remember driving into the car park and driving forward into a beer? Yeah. Right? Can you remember how you hit the kerb? Yeah. You needed, you've caught, you caught the front of the kerb with your bumper, so you needed to press the brake to stop it. Uh -huh. um, steering. You know when you pull up at the side of the road? Yeah. Um, you scrape in the side wall of your tire. Yeah. Now the the side wall of the tire is the weakest part, so if you keep sh skimming that, you're going to shave all the the tread off it off the side of the wall. So be very careful. It'll pop when you when you most need it most. Now, change of speed. Um, was can you remember when I asked you to pull in? I mean, your mirror work for me is very very good. It's very good. You use northern mirrors, but when you're going straight ahead. Which is the most important, before you break, which is the most important mirror? This I knew you'd pick that one because that's the one you're always looking in. It's got to be this one. Right. The reason for this is it gives you a true life picture of what's happening behind. So if you're going to break, you want to know what's behind, not what's going to overtake you. You need to know what's in there. Right. Um, but mirror work is pretty, it's pretty good stuff. But um, you, what, what you've done is actually, when I used to pull up, you slow down and then you looked in mirrors. You've got to look in mirrors first. So mirror, middle mirror, then slow down. Don't look and slow down, then use your mirrors. But when you're breaking that one first before that one. Driving at appropriate speed. What was the speed limit on the dual carriageway going down towards towards Darling at the start of the test? 60. It was a dual carriageway. So what's the speed limit on the dual carriageway? 70. 70. How fast were you going? About 40. 45 max so yeah. now the the reason I didn't mark this as a serious fault is I felt you driving was it was you didn't go around driving like my old granny all the way it was just that one little part it is wet the roads were wet slippy you had a few cars overtaken so I just marked it as a minor because your rest of your driving was not slow but if you go down there or up there the morrow you won't be looking about 50 miles an hour right. 50 50 miles so get your foot out um, undue hesitation this was at the traffic lights what you mentioned yeah right the backup light has changed to red what should you do stop stop you need, what did you do go you need to get out you don't stop i'll, I'll explain that one when we turn this camera off but um now you've got two minor faults at the lights this was close to being a serious fault one for undue hesitation the backup lights changed red and we're sitting there and i'm thinking now we get the car out of the junction get it out and you did eventually go, which was the correct decision, but the car started to come from the left, didn't it? Yeah. You didn't slow them down, but you should have been getting out there. So if you go there tomorrow, when that light changes red, start preparing that car and getting out of that junction. Watch for the oncoming traffic stopping. As soon as you've seen them slow down and stop, just get out of the junction. The other one is for that particular junction. You turned right at the, the, the traffic lights. There was a yellow box. Mm -hmm. Remember? Are you allowed to stop in the yellow box if you turn right? Yeah, 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 of oh, course you are. you are. I was keep. I was like, oh, that was so annoying. Yeah, well, it. the yellow boxes, um, the yellow boxes. If you're going straight ahead, you cannot stop in the yellow box. If you're turning right and the exit road is clear, you're turning into. You can't enter the box now. Again, this was very lucky. What you should have done here is you should have drove it into the yellow box and stopped a meter back. The reason you're getting the mind to fall for is because you stop behind the box. Now, if there was a car behind. They could not follow you into the junction. So there was, luckily for you, there was no cars behind. Had you um, gone into the yellow box and there's a car behind, well, he can follow you in. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. Good. So very lucky there because there could have been a car behind. Observations. 
can you remember when I said, pull up on the left and you suddenly turned, you went left. What was going yeah. through that big brain there? <laughs> Not much. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, when he has to tell you, yeah, you haven't gotten Mark for that because you've done nothing wrong. So anyway, when we come out back out of the car park, you didn't hardly look to the right. I mean, you could see an approach is clear, but you, you've got to have a proper look. You kind of look out the corner of your eye. You need to turn your head a bit more. Uh -huh. It's just a minor fault there. Um, awareness and planning. What was that one? Oh, I've had a memory blank. I'll have to come back to that one. I'll think of that one. And Siri controls, right. Um, well, I've marked down, is it? You know, you show me, tell me a question. You got that one wrong. Yeah. Okay, so you, you need to go through them. Uh -huh. um, right, you t you've got two serious faults. Believe it or not, you fail within the first, what, 40 seconds or so? Oh, God. <laughs> That's not good. What, what did you do? Can you remember we pulled out at this junction? Uh, it says, can you pull up in a convenient place on the left? So you pull up on the double yellow lines. Oh, then you mount the pavement, which you're not allowed to do. It's illegal. You can only mount on pull on pavements if signs tell you. Well, you just plonk the car on the double lines, which is illegal, and then you mounted the pavement straight away. And I thought, oh, here we go. This is <laughs> going to be fun. Um, so, and you did mount the curb again later on. Uh, Can you remember? Yeah. So because you've recorded the same fault, you won't mark it again. So you've got a serious fault for mounting the pavement and parking on double yellow lines, which to people watching the video is going to look really daft. But tr <laughs> trust me, this mock test of deer, I have seen a hundred times worse. For me, it's pretty good, but you're just not used to the mock test scenario. That's all it is, because it's pretty good stuff. Um, the other serious fault was, what's that say? Move off. Safely. Right. Oh, I kept... I kept Go on. And I, I realised the last time, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to check my blind yeah, spot Yeah, you weren't time. looking over your shoulder. Now, when I drove off and I come to your house and I picked you and I got <laughs> in your car, I watched you, you drove off, you went, I thought, like, oh, she's on the ball, she's good. Um, but when I've done it the day, you've not looked over your shoulder once. I forgot now, every time. You, you've got to remember that's a very, I've, honestly, I feel loads on this for my pupils and never look over your shoulder. But uh -huh. that blind spot can hide cars. It yeah. really can. Okay, so that's uh, everything explained. If you want, I can email this off to you. If yeah. you want to have a look at it, it's up to you. <laughs> have you any questions before I turn the camera off? Sure? Yep. Okay, well. Thank you for participating in that. I'll just turn that off now.